Hey y'all, welcome to Jackalope Tales, urban legends and music, where we uncover, is it real or is it a jackalope tale? I'm your host, Charles Mooney. And I'm Lisa Umbarger. And Charles and I are founding members of the Toadies, and now we're doing a podcast. In the flesh. You're naked? <laughs> well. <laughs> well, it's not re- <laughs> Totally in the flesh. See, you're going to get everyone watching YouTube. To see I know. I'm naked. Charles is totally naked. Tune yeah. in on YouTube. <laughs> okay, I just moved in my chair. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 But today, yes, we're talking about a really good Samaritan. Right. We spend a lot of time talking about the bad actors. They're fun music. to talk about. Yeah, because it's so colorful and insane. <laughs> I know, right? And we laugh. Yeah. Why do we laugh at bad stuff? I don't <sighs> That's just how we're programmed. It's fun to do bad things. I know. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so don't turn this off. We're actually making it. It's a story about a good guy, but there's a cool twist to it. Yeah. The, it's a feel good. St- some feel good stories about a guy who's a really good human. I mean, there's still some ass and blood in this. Right. So. And he's got such nice hair. Oh, God. Fucking feathered hair. Oh. I mean, everyone could be jealous. I know. he. I had that hair when I was eight years old. Right. Yeah, and I and now it. he's like, what, 80? And yeah. he's got this hair fan that follows him around. <laughs> it's like, it's like yeah. I know. And he styles his so much better than I did. My mom had me parted down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh, like the Red Sea. I know. Like, yeah. I need my Red Sea cut. <laughs> yeah. So. But so you guys probably already know we're talking about John Bon Jovi. Yes, um, we're calling this one Good Jovi. Good Jovi. <laughs> Good Jovi. <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, I think on this one, we're kind of starting with a talk of a particular well, idea you came well, up with. This, yeah. So I don't know if anyone has heard about this because this is the thing that's I called Charles and I was like, have you seen this? <laughs> There's an ad for it. Uh, Pharrell is making a movie about his life yeah. with Legos. God. Legos. I mean, I the Lego movie was kind of fun, but I don't I know. I didn't watch it. <laughs> I didn't watch it. It looked stupid. Oh, did I, mean, I did I say I watched it? No. No, I mean, um, it, I, mean I don't you, get did it. Did you watch it? I did. Was the, it good? Do I need to watch oh, this? Oh, no. Oh, the Lego something. movie? Yeah. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. Oh, it fuck. really is. It's all just right. cool because it incorporates all the stuff we had as kids. Okay. All, all right. right. I'll watch the stupid movie. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know if I'm going to watch Pharrell. <laughs> stupid movie. Pharrell, f- piece by <sighs> piece. And it's yeah. going to have Lego um, Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe like. I don't. What I know, the hell, man? I know, and a white Lego joint. Right. <laughs> yes, because Snoop Dogg is going to yeah. be in it. Oh yeah. God, Lego Snoop Dogg. Which, okay, maybe I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in on but Lego that Snoop could Dogg, be cool. But if they had Lego Martha Stewart, oh. then I think I'm I might do it. But oh I still God. think it's kind of. It feels really corporate. I. It's got to be Selling one of those out. things where someone came to him with the idea. No, I don't I think see. he thought of it. Really? Yes, he's a marketing whiz. You know about his drinks well, for children? Well, yes. It's I like remember drinks that. for women and children. Yes, I know. <laughs> so I think that But he, that didn't go well. So well, I mean, maybe. what if he had like a cross promotion with the drinks for children and oh Legos? Oh, God. You could take shots out of a Lego block. Right. Yeah. Or like when you buy the, <laughs> the whatever, the Singapore sling, you get like yeah. a little Lego. Oh, my God. You go with you it, build, a Pharrell. Yeah, you build the glass out of Lego. But. Maybe he just loves Lego from being a kid or something. I don't I don't get it. I don't know. To me, it feels really yucky and corporate. Yeah. So I asked Charles when I saw this, mm-hmm. if you were going to have your life acted out yeah. with a product, yeah. what would it be? Well, now, I was kind of thinking an actual figure thing, but... I had to go with the old 12-inch G.I. Joes because they're already burr cut. They've already got a beard. And then, of course, you had those figures you'd played with a long time, and they're kind of in the don't ask, don't tell part of the military because their wrists 
So a Charlie them. Moonlight, G.I. Uh, Joe with uh, a guitar. Yeah. He's the one who serenaded the guys by the fire. <laughs> exactly. He has so, a little canteen. I mean, God, I'd look so tough. And I mean, it'd be cool. And man, I didn't. And always pack a gun. I just. <laughs> <laughs> my acoustic and my gun. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like. uh the, are you gonna have the little helmet? What kind of accessories are you gonna have? The little hel- oh yeah, helmet? oh yeah, the the helmet, and then of course you if gotta you put meat as murder on the army oh, helmet. Oh, go on the Smiths route. Yeah. Oh, see, that would be cool. But yeah, I mean, they had jeeps and everything, so okay, I have all the cool. accessories I need. See, I took mine a different route, and then I'd beat up all the kins. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that means is your GI Joe gonna have? actual parts because ken you know you smooth down there <laughs> you Dude. mean my gi joe's got to take his pants off in the movie well i think maybe you should or have, just show butt he should he should yeah. have a real butt yeah at least yeah like Cause, a crack because my ass is shiny <laughs> <laughs> so i mean it it will be lifelike okay so yeah. plastic ass yeah i guess for children we can't have junk in the <laughs> out there. But, no no just Give a mass and that's it. But if it had the same kind of stubble that there is on the head, that would be hilarious. Oh God. <laughs> and little pubes. <laughs> Gotta keep it trim. Yeah, I know. I know. The great American hero. <laughs> I mean, they're fighting in the jungle. They don't have to be a jungle in your pants. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, I may have grown up in the 70s, but it doesn't always look that way down there. Damn, mine's uh, not as cool because... Well, no, no, I want to hear this one. I yeah. want a corporate sponsorship with Ding Dongs. <laughs> <laughs> and I want my life acted out with Ding Dongs. Oh, my God. So it starts with the really good Ding Dongs <laughs> that are wrapped in aluminum foil. <laughs> do you remember those? Uh, of course I do. Right. I so, mean, I'd lay on the couch and watch cartoons and um, eat ding dongs. Yeah, take the tin foil off oh, of the. Oh God, yeah. Those were the good ding dongs. Oh, and I mean, it, if even a little chocolate got on the foil, I was licking that right? shit. Oh yeah. So, uh, so my life starts out as the good aluminum foil ding dong, <laughs> and then it slowly, and no one knows when, transitions to the. <laughs> Oh, the plastic wrapped ding dong oh, that just doesn't taste no, right. Oh, that is good. And it's not as good. So yeah, yeah I went um, ding dong to sponsor my life <laughs> and like act it out. Like, yay, like life is so good oh, and my it's shiny God. and awesome. Yeah. And then it turns into this plastic wrapped crap that no one really wants in their lunch. Will you ever squirt cream? No, because they don't <laughs> even have good cream in them anymore. No. No. I don't it's even just, try them bad. anymore because I bad. know I'll be disappointed. Oh, th- I tried them about eight years ago and oh. I was like, fuck this. I threw the whole <laughs> box away. I was like, what the hell did they do to ding dong? First of all, the unwrapping of the tin foil is better. It's classic. And anyone who was not alive during the aluminum ding dong oh, yeah. fa- era of the world. Oh. Uh, they Poor people. They you know, think these are real ding dongs nowadays. Yeah, no way. They're not. No. Yeah, I would rather have a little Debbie's anything. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, no. I remember my mom would get us the box of like 12 of them. And right. You'd have all and they stacked the, all nice and neat. Oh, they were little hockey yes, pucks. Yeah. I think that the air that gets in the plastic wrap mm-hmm. is ruining the ding dong. Oh. So that's probably an environmental thing, right? Pollution. You do have to pollution. keep the air out. Yeah. Pollution yeah. has ruined the ding dong. You just got to wrap it in. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap it in aluminum is that's what happened to mine because so of that's, smog right. <laughs> that's my life my life has been ruined by smog oh god so, anyway, i love the ding dong idea my life in ding dongs that's classic no okay. so I, uh, I put that above is it hostess? Joe. so hostess and i'll uh, make a guest appearance as a twinkie <gasps> yes but the twinkies were better back then too <sighs> what happened to twinkies oh i'm telling you it's cheap ass shit now, now. they taste like Eating a real kitchen sponge when before it was like this nice sponge cake that had really good filling. It's like, yeah, just to even think that the old stuff was real sponge cake. And it's like now it's, it's just yoga mat. It tastes like a yoga mat. <laughs> yeah. and, After it's been used. Yeah. yeah. Used yoga mat oh, from God. the the tiny and probably goat, shitty ass goat cream yoga. in it too. Yeah. <laughs> goat yoga. <laughs> 
<laughs> it ain't goat, that's for sure. So, uh, <laughs> so hostess, if you're listening, um, um, we would like to act out uh, the uh, yeah jackalope tails. They need to get and ding dongs and yeah, Twinkies. They need to get the aluminums out of the vault. Man, if the original, if they would just bring back hostess, if you would bring back aluminum ding dongs, I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, I'm a marketing major. Let's do this. She can I'll help do it. you. I'll help she you with this. It. I will wrap them. Yeah, because the tightly wrapped ones, they were the best <laughs> ones. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> they just fit right on the ding dong. <laughs> Dang it, it was so good. <laughs> Kept all the pollution. Uh, out. I know, right? Kept uh, it clean. Kept it clean. Man, oh, you're bringing miss- back my memories. Oh. oh. Well, okay, from G.I. Joe and Ding Dong <laughs> to uh, Good Jovi. <laughs> so, oh, man. Yeah, he uh, he was in the news recently. Right. And that's kind of what you're touching on. So, I mean, uh, and that's how we got the the uh, idea for this, because we saw that John Bon Jovi, most people have seen the video of John Bon Jovi saving a life. Yeah. It, like, for real, saving a mm-hmm. life. No. And he- I was like. I think he's kind of a good guy. Let's look at him. Yeah. I mean, sh- superhero status. I know, right? Oh. So and here um, I put a dick on him on I our know. first oh, show. God. Why did we do that? <sighs> well, maybe he needed it. Well. He can handle it. Exactly. He can handle it. I mean, it. hey. Yeah. But he really is a good guy. <laughs> uh, like, in uh, even before the bridge incident. Yeah. So he has a nonprofit restaurant mm. in... uh New Jersey. Yeah. Um, and it's called JBJ John Bon Jovi oh, Soul Kitchen. Acronym. Yeah. A soul kitchen. Soul Kitchen. Wow. And so the whole premise behind the restaurant is um people can show up and yeah. you pay what you can. So there's a a suggested price for the meal, and you pay what wow. you can, but if you can't pay, you don't have to pay. And what? so the people who who uh, are patrons who pay, you can pay it forward and buy someone else's meal as well. What? So I mean, he's how nice is that? Damn. That's like a really good dude. He really God. We should go and eat there. I mean, I still hate his music, but I gotta commend him. Right. I mean, but I wonder if it's shit food. <laughs> <laughs> they get the uh, free food from the other. Here is a ding dong that's not in aluminum <clears throat> yeah, foil. Yeah, it's air. yeah, air. Oh. Yeah, environmental. Like, yeah, <laughs> ding dong. Yeah. So, um, I love that though. That there's no prices on the menu. Just that's suggested. So damn things. cool. Right. Yeah. Um. So he's he was already doing that, and he's been doing that for years. Yeah. Um. Just helping in the community where he grew up. Mm-hmm. So, um. The the funny thing about this, and it's no surprise that when John Bon Jovi sh- uh, should save a jumper off of a bridge, yeah, it happens during National Suicide Prevention Month. Wow! What man? It's like he planned the, it. I, I know the irony of this. I'm not going to say he planned it, but it. Yeah. So hmm, it does make you wonder. It does make you wonder mm. because it just so happened. He was filming a video, a music video. He's doing some new music. He's doing some new music. Oh, okay. I didn't make a face. You uh, did. Uh, <laughs> no, we both did. <laughs> you um, just mirrored me. <laughs> <laughs> so he was uh okay. he was making a video for a song, The People's House. <laughs> and uh it was on the John Siegenthaler, and I probably messed that up, Ooh. pedestrian bridge. Oh, uh. and one of the production assistants noticed that there's a lady on the other side of the rail of the okay of the bridge standing yeah. backwards with her back up against like she's gonna jump. Oh, yeah, facing out. Okay, and the production assistant, who's a woman whose name I don't know, and John Bon Jovi walk over and uh, start engaging her in conversation. So so they're doing the video and then they notice this lady. Right. Okay. Huh. So here's me cuz I'm so I question everything. So if you're a doing scam. if you're yeah. it's sometimes <laughs> yeah. If you're doing a video set, it's <clears throat> usually closed off. Yeah. Um so if they were filming there, how did just like people get in? Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Already so there's a part wonder. of me that's going, mm, 
was this kind of a setup? I know. There's. I know. I'm, I'm still questioning. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. No problem. Yeah. Uh, but it seems kind of fishy. I know. I know. Just but. a little bit. Anyway. Um, and I'm an asshole, so you, people can call me an asshole for even questioning it. I don't care. Um, so uh, you there really are an asshole. I'm total asshole yeah, going. Oh, he didn't save his life. It was all set up. Fucking free meal. It was. <laughs> it was one of the runners on the set. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so they approach her, and uh, no one knows exactly what was exchanged in the conversation because the camera angle is from pretty far back okay um nothing up close <clears throat> and you really can't see the jumper's face and oh, uh you okay. really can't see anyone's faces very well because it's pretty far back mm -hmm. so you can't tell it's john bon jovi because of the great fucking hair oh god you see it and you're just like With oh that, i know who that and is the wind was probably right. blowing a They're little bit they're like it's bit. either fair faucet or john bon jovi and fair faucet's <laughs> dead, dead. Yeah. so it's john bon jovi <laughs> um so uh, and uh so anyway uh John Bon Jovi's talking to her, and in my head, I've made up this whole conversation mm -hmm. where she looks over and she's like, "John Bon Jovi," and he's like, "Yeah," Speaking and out. and uh, <laughs> he's like, "That's me. I'm John Bon Jovi." Yeah. And while he's talking to her, uh, the production assistant sliding over really slow, um. walking closer to her, closer to her, and then she just grabs her arm and holds on to her, um. and uh, so who saved? Girl, mm. Bon John, John Bon Don, <laughs> Bon John, <laughs> which means good John. Where did an Asian come from? <laughs> good John, oh, okay, yeah. Saint John. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Saint yeah. John shows yeah. up and uh, uh, you know distracts her with his hair and like nice smile. <laughs> wisp. Right. I know. It's like there's this glow around And the production him. assistant like does Jesus the real work. Jesus is coming exactly. to save you. Exactly. Yeah. And so the production assistant grabs her, secures uh, her to the bridge, and then John, 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 John <laughs> now I can't say his name. Then bon John, John, John. Then John, John <laughs> walks John. over. St. John walks over <laughs> and help, like the gentleman he is, helps her over the rail and then hands her to police. <laughs> 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 Which I was like, what? Why are the police just now? like the police sat around and watched them? Yeah, like they're this. watching over the hill, waiting for their moment exactly. to come. Exactly. I'm in. like, well, why were they making yeah. him lift her over when you got? Yeah. Anyway, no kidding. So whatever. Well, you know, he's he's probably like, y'all stay back. I got this. Oh, yeah, he probably was. He's like, this. you know what? I did ride alongs with cops in New Jersey. I yeah. know how to do this. It's a good hair day. Right. I got this. She's <laughs> she's in the palm of my hand. I got this. We're halfway there. But they put a, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> So they put a blanket over. Oh. And the cops like whisk her away in a cop car. <laughs> like, so, and no one knows her name or anything because they want to protect her privacy, which I totally get. True. Um and well, Everyone hopes she's okay. Well, maybe there's legitimacy to this because it's like you would think maybe if it were set up, they would have mic'd John Bon Jovi to and hear what he says and do all this stuff. Yeah, but, but don't you want to know what uh, what the aren't you curious? Oh, I mean, yeah, definitely. Like what he said to her. It yeah. Or if she even recognized him. Right. I mean, phew. But you, with that hair, mm. right? Like, would it be like just because he's a handsome man? She's like, "All right, I'm going to talk to him for a few. I got a few minutes <laughs> before I go to eternal. Before I jump, yeah, yeah. Before I go see Jesus, I may so well I'm gonna talk to this nice guy. Talk to like a guy that looks like a Caucasian Jesus over here. <laughs> this long hair and uh, stigmata. Does he have stigmata? Because I think he might be. He could be. Yeah, I mean, he's a good person. He could have stigmata. Oh yeah. Um, there's some truth so no one really knows what was said or mm. what the lady's name was I have a theory that it might be a, have been a setup to kind of promote the record yeah and suicide prevention month right I mean <laughs> I know right? yeah Doesn't sound kind of yeah. yeah I don't know but there are coincidences so it could be that but um, although no one knows what was said there are people who were close mm -hmm. said that on the wind they could hear the <laughs> They could hear John Bon Jovi singing 
living on a prayer. Oh. So they believe that he serenaded her. <laughs> he just walked up and started singing Living on a Prayer. Yeah. yeah. Shelly used to work on a dime. <laughs> Which that's my best John Bon Jovi. <laughs> that was not bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so people uh, think that living on a prayer might have saved the lady's life. Oh, wow. That song was written just for that lady. Right. Mm, for so that moment. Um, happy Suicide Prevention Month. <laughs> Everybody. Happy <laughs> Oh, I'm not trying to make light of it. Everyone, if you're sad, um, please call. There's an 800 number probably that call. But yeah, yeah. Don't don't call us because bon we're not going to be, be good everywhere. Help. Right. Yeah. John. Yeah. He's I mean, he is St. John, but he can't be everywhere. <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> but wouldn't that be awesome if like uh, you're up on the sixth floor of the hospital and the. Yeah. The. <laughs> <laughs> and the, being treated and 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 you're going john bon jovi saved my life and they're going uh she's cuckoo so <laughs> you're gonna have to stay an extra couple yeah. months i'm just imagining like that batman light being shown and it's a big hairdo and that means <laughs> bon jovi needs to come to the rescue what about if they turn on a big giant hair fan <laughs> and it blows his hair he's like i'm being i'm being summoned I'm being as, called. It, as it blows his hair <laughs> It's like on the top of a building yeah. in New Jersey and it just blows his hair. Yeah. Yep. Like, yep. That's for me. Yep. It's the Bond signal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's something. The Bond there. John signal. Yeah. Turn on the Bond John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Well, I mean, yours. Yeah. That was recent. Now, mine actually happened a little while back. Okay. Um, now, to kind of give a backup story, because in finding out about Bon Jovi's upbringing, his mom was kind of like my mom, because she was the kind of mom that was always prepared when it came to, like, uh, sanitation, okay. things like that. So my mom, whenever we'd go on a trip, always had wet wipes. I mean... Yep. She would not have our asses sit on a public toilet without it being wiped down better than. That's a good mom. Any, yo, listen, yeah. we had to wipe our hands down before we ate our ding dong. Man, yeah, you're I lucky because my mom would pull to the side <laughs> of the road and o we'd open up both doors to the <laughs> station wagon and pee in the road. <laughs> the side of the road so it's way different i thought you were gonna say that's so that's the only air you'd feel and <laughs> opening up doors and then just cooling <laughs> off for a minute oh uh, but <laughs> no uh so i mean he grew up she always had band-aids she always had yeah. neosporin i mean there was a, well i mean when you got kids certs, too. did she have certs in her purse oh, i'm sure yeah. the, the ones with the gold and silver yes. foil again foil uh-huh <laughs> Let's bring this what back. Anything, Why did we get away from foil wrapped things? Anything wrapped in foil was means good. quality. Yeah. Yeah. And certs are gone. You can't even get them anymore. No, you can't. Or they put them in some fucking plastic disappointing box that you have to shake out oh but anyway sorry so no no he he grew up kind of experiencing this whole take care of everything and always having this kind of health stuff around but uh when he started performing music because it got to a point where he was really trying to delve in and get into the rock music scene and he was had a kind of a fallback plan okay. because if the music didn't work out, he has, he did want to join the military for being a medic. Really? Because he really wanted, he loved the idea of taking care of people, which makes right. sense. And now. he's a Patriot. Good and, Samaritan yeah. and all that stuff. Right. But God, can you imagine a burr cut on no. Bon Jovi? No, it, I mean, it, he, they, as they shave, it would probably grow back. Yeah, because that's <laughs> kind of like his halo. Yes. I mean, yeah, you just no. can't get rid of it. It nope. just comes right back. It's like my groin hair. Yeah, it just comes right back. Ugh. But, but. Uh, so you've got a. <laughs> you got John Bon Jovi hanging out down there like a John Bon Jovi hair. Oh, you ought to see. Yeah, you ought to see my bat signal. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, but <no>. uh, <laughs> anyway, but as we know, he didn't have to cut his hair. He succeeded as a musician. And it was cool because he had the opportunity. You know, when you start getting popular, you get opportunities to do stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's like, I mean, he's got this clout and so he can kind of go up to someone and be like, Hey, can I join y'all and experience what y'all do? So he did it with the green berets. What? I know. I know that's, it's really fascinating. And with me, I just did it with people doing acid. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hey, can I join y'all? <laughs> Hey, it was like a make a wish. I, I mean, <laughs> you're just like, I want to do acid. But the but Green Berets? I know. I Okay. It wasn't going to be a career or anything. But right. He, but when he did this, he kind of, you know, it's like riding in the backseat of a police car. They're not yeah. going to put you at risk. They're not going right. to, they're going to make you sit in the car until they get everything under Unless control. Unless you're Tom Cruise and they throw you in the pilot seat. <laughs> plane. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, he can do all <laughs> that. Uh, so he got to experience some of this stuff. And one of the things that the green berets, uh, the medical aspect, they always had emergency kits right there with them. Yeah. And, that kind of made him, it reinforced his feelings of always have some supplies. Okay. The yeah. preparedness. Yeah. Well, and it came to be very useful at one point. Okay. So we're going back to the 1988 American Music Awards. Wow. This was when Bon Jovi, the band, was up for best pop rock artist. Um. Uh, they were there at the event. Uh, Richie Sambora, his guitarist. Yep. And, of course, the rest of the band were there. But Richie was dating Cher. I remember that. Because they met because Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora helped produce that album she had come out with prior the prior year. Did they really? Yeah. They were. I didn't they even produced, know they did that, I don't think they produced the whole album, but they produced some of the songs. And, okay. and so I guess Richie and Cher hooked up, but they're all there. You can see them on the red carpet posing for pictures and all this stuff. Well, Bon Jovi wins yeah, best uh, rock band. Okay. And so afterwards, of course. What do you do? You celebrate. Get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Champagne, wine, you know, all that stuff. And they're in this uh, club <clears throat> and they, everyone's just all excited. Champagne's flowing. Everything's going nuts. Probably the record labels buying a bunch of stuff. For oh, them. God. You know, they're just yeah, living it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because when you get an award, ooh, takes you to another <laughs> level. But some, uh, of course, you know, glasses fall off the table and things like that. A few things break here and there and everyone's just going around having a great time. Well, there's Cher at one moment plops down on a chaise lounge. Yes. And there was a good chunk of glass oh, on no. the chaise lounge. And went right into her ass. Oh, shit. And, I mean, it went deep. And, of course, she's wearing those fishnet yeah, things. That she's known for. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because she's proud of her ass. <laughs> and so goes right into her butt cheek. And she jumps up, screams, and grabs the glass from the back of her ass, pulls it out. So she cuts her hand blood coming out of her butt well at that point you got a lot of people that are kind of drunk yeah or just totally stunned but guess who the one person is that jumped to action bon john <laughs> bon john did. bon john don did it. yeah he Good did john. It. oh yeah he jumped right into action i mean he's He's got to basically do it all on his own. He's no like, let me suck the poison out. Yes, yes. I mean, and then, of course, Richie Sambora has an issue with seeing blood. Oh, no. So he sees this blood coming out of his girlfriend's ass. Right. And faints, and his head hits a table. 
<laughs> so we got two victims. You got a screaming share and you got a out Richie Sambora. So you have blood coming from both ends of the body. <laughs> two different people. Exactly. So Bon Jovi jumps into action. I mean, he's screaming for like, call the 911, get, get some people here to help this. But he's got to be the one to jump into action. And guess what he has with him? I don't know. His medical kit. No, in the in the club? Oh, he always had it with him. He didn't have like it little... on. It wasn't like tied on him like a fanny pack, but it was always around. But he had like a little briefcase. So he... uh, it might be a little plastic clip case. I don't know. Okay. That feels uh, OCD. Oh, well, he, I mean, he grew up that way. With okay. things being clean, sanitized, always safe. Right. His mom probably packed Band-Aids. He probably for him. counts the Band-Aids every day. <laughs> right. Yeah. So here he's got Cher on the ground. He flips her over so that her butt's up in the air and he starts pushing. Sounds like a porno. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shares derriere yeah so starts really pushing applying pressure with one hand and then he takes his soft little fringe boot off his little leather fringe boot oh no props richie sambora's head up with a, the little fringe boot uh -huh. and i mean they're he's having to stretch and kind of manage both of them and where are the other people like where's the mater d or Bar, no. what, barbax. It was a big towels? party. I'm, I'm sure that it probably happened. They really were fast. trying. It, it was probably really quick. But I mean, he had some interesting things in his medical kit because sometimes he likes to fly with it. Also, yeah. So he doesn't want things in there that are going to be like uh, confiscated or things right. like that. So he he grabs some black tea bags from the kit. And okay. doused them into the container that was the bucket that was chilling the champagne. Yeah. Moistened the tea bags. And then something he learned from the Green Berets is how to use all of your appendages. Yeah. To do work. He put them between his toes <laughs> <laughs> and, and squeezed them with his toes. The, the tea bags? Yes. Okay. And I mean, he's got... A tea bag between his first toe and second toe. He's got right. a tea bag between his second toe and his third toe. Right. And then the fourth one and the fifth one are just kind of loose. They're right? like to, to grab. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like monkey stuff. And hmm. he gets them squeezed and then he grabs them from his foot, slaps them on Richie Sambora's head because black tea on an open wound is supposed to... Uh, speed up coagulation. Okay, so we just learned something on oh, Jackalope Dales. I know. It's so like, black tea bags wherever you go. Carry those in your glove yeah, box, people. Yeah. But so, also practice wringing them out with your toes. I, yeah, I know. I mean, you never know. <laughs> so he's got one hand on Cher's ass, and then he grabs the tea bags with his hand, pushes it onto Richie Sambora's head, and then he moves his foot to apply the pressure. Because he needs that other hand because Cher's kind of, is she's freaking out. Right. She's drunk. She's freaking out. She's got to like stroke her back. Yeah. <laughs> well. Easy Cher. Oh, easy. yeah. So he's holding her down. And then quickly he grabs some zinc pills. Because yeah. zinc pills are also something that someone should suck on if they right. are needing to slow down blood flow. Right. Well, he's nervous about putting something in her mouth because she's screaming and she's drunk. And let's just say she's already rolled over. Oh, no, I, I see where this is going. Yeah. So one hand's holding her down. One hand is applying pressure. Her, his foot is it's on, on the Richie, head wound. on the head wound of Richie, who's laying on his uh, leather shoe with a little fringe. And so all we've got left is a foot and a mouth. And um, no one... That okay. Way. <laughs> so though, and he doesn't want to give her the zinc pills orally. So it has never been told by any of the party goers how the zinc how the zinc pills became suppositories. But 
two pills went into her leather Cheerio. Um, and then no so, one knows how. Okay. <laughs> I, th- I wonder if this is the reason why Cher and Richie broke up. <laughs> Because I mean, I'm guessing that once you you have St. John's lips down in your <laughs> nether regions, that I mean, come on, man. I know, and you feel that hair. <laughs> <laughs> <I mean. laughs> and with that glowing halo, yeah. But okay. But all of that was just to kind of control the moment. Stop, uh, not so quite no stop one, the bleeding, yeah, but so suppress no it. Died. No, no one did. John Bon Medics Jovi arrived. went into action. Oh. Saved the day. Jumped into action. Yeah. I mean, had the kit, had the mindset. That guy. Is that when he got did. the little medal from the Green Berets? You know what? Yes. Is that one of you the things? You are right. You are right. Oh, I know. Because I was wondering what he did. Because I heard that you know he uh, he went through training, and uh, there was something that happened. But I didn't realize it was with Cher and a bandmate. I thought it was like just something that may regular happened. regular citizens in a bar. Well, I mean, I mean, I guess they can be regular citizens in a bar. They're citizens, so hmm. but the I, it was really something where. Bon Jovi must have been contacted the Green Berets and were like, man, with the way you train me to use my toes, <laughs> I, I, I have really. So I bet you, though, the Green level. Berets are going, good work on the ass stuff. <laughs> All right. John. Right. Uh, we didn't quite teach you that, but yeah. uh, <laughs> gave, him thinking. A, gave him a medal There's in a the medal. shape of a foot <laughs> <laughs> with the toes spread out. And it's got the little dangly things on it, those tea bags. <laughs> <laughs> or you open up the foot and the tea bags are inside. Oh my God. Uh, and zinc yes. pills. Oh, yeah. So. Okay. So, what but, have we learned today? Uh, that, tea bags and zinc pills keep those in your car yeah so what does zinc pills do again because i was zinc. distracted by the butthole <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying people if they have their mouth working are supposed to suck on zinc pills because it speeds up coagulation and slows down the blood loss what the hell how I don't know, but how did we get through school and not know this? Because that seems like a really good thing to know. Everyone's know. got blood. I know. I always thought shove a couple ding dongs in, right. in well, your the mouth. Foil. And you're you good. Use the aluminum foil. Oh, the foil. Yeah. Right. Just like roll it up in a little ball and shove it in crevices. Oh, God. <laughs> and do that when you're not hurt. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But everything, I mean, medic showed up, but they really credited him for handling the situation and getting everyone. So no one it. went into shock and yeah, freaked out. No, I mean it was handled as best as possible. But and then he won the award for best rock band. So man, can, okay, let's just imagine <laughs> the ambulance crew that walks up on this. <laughs> I mean, think about, picture it. You're in the, you you heard that there's an yeah. altercation that happened in a club. Mm-hmm. Usually probably when you go, it's a fight and someone yes. got a bottle cracked over their head or whatever. Right, right. So they roll in and shares ass up <laughs> and Richie Sambora is right. laying on a shoe with tea bags pressed against yes, his head. Yes, with, with John Bon Jovi's foot. Foot. Up against his head. I bet the medics had toe envy because they were like, holy shit. I wish I could. Uh, you can't imagine. I wish I could give an IV with my second and third right. toe. And, <laughs> and can they talk about it? I mean, oh, is it? But yeah, that's right. Because the people that were there, they haven't divulged all the right, details. I bet you the ambulance drivers can't. I bet you there's some kind of code of conduct. Yeah. Hypocrite. Do they have to take the hypocritical? <laughs> <laughs> that's what i always take every day the hypocritic oat yeah um, yeah i don't know uh but whatever they probably just did their thing and got out and then they probably keep it hush i don't see them spreading but they're talking with, the- they're talking with their buddies they're like 
I touched Cher's butt. I had to cut <laughs> fish nets off of Cher's ass. <laughs> and she had two zinc pills in her sphincter. Yeah. <sighs> I know. I'm trying to think because I take zinc. Dude. <laughs> Uh, when you know when i have a when? cold or whatever yeah yeah it gets rid of colds it helps oh. the immune system too i didn't know about the blood thing i could could have cut myself all this time and say and know. you would have been just fine yeah so, and, and i never thought about putting them in my butt because <laughs> um that's how it you, absorbs have you ever had a zinc capsule <laughs> that for a zinc making. lozenge <laughs> So the zinc lozenges okay. you can dissolve on your tongue. Oh, okay. Can you? I don't like them dissolving in my mouth. Oh. I can't imagine one dissolving in my butthole. <laughs> you wouldn't taste it though. And yeah, but I would think that I could taste it, and my mind works really bad. <laughs> and your farts would smell so, terrible. <laughs> so I would think it would burn. Yeah. So you'd have oh, a, a burning a ring of fire. <laughs> And, um, and like you, you'd be, uh, having a Caesar salad, like a couple weeks later and go, is that zinc? <laughs> I would do that. Cause I, I would be, I would be so yeah. paranoid that zinc is yeah, just... like broken the, the <laughs> blood brain barrier and I have zinc everywhere. Oh, just like, God. yeah, you taste that it's zinky. Yeah. <laughs> Everything tastes like zinc now. It's like, do I just bleed out or do I take some zinc pills? You, you'd well, have to debate that. Not in my butt. <laughs> okay, that's the big difference right like, there. I, I would go try just putting them in my armpit and see if it absorbs that way first. <laughs> that's how you take your temperature. <laughs> yeah, why not let a zinc pill do it? <laughs> like put some uh, zinc there in my armpits, <laughs> and then because uh, let's not do buttholes the last ditch yeah. effort. Well, I mean the bleeding was right there, so. Get the zinc. It was right to the. <laughs> yeah. I don't mm. know. <laughs> the whole thing is unsavory. Says, your, your face says Cher's it done all a bunch, about of, bunch of weird stuff. And this is, I don't blame this one on Cher. Yeah. Yeah. But she puts herself in bad situations. Ah, she was asking for it. Right. You never just plop on a chaise lounge. You know, I bet you <laughs> with her whole time with the Almond Brothers, nothing oh, like that. I mean, I can imagine things happen to Cher's butt. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm guessing never once with the uh, Almond Brothers did yeah. zinc capsules or zinc pills. No, I don't see Greg her Allman butthole. doing any, <laughs> any zinc yeah. applying. So, yeah. So it's weird that St. John would be the one that would. I'd kind of be worried what Greg Almond could. Right. <laughs> and <do>. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's just change the subject. I, I know. <laughs> we were at, went from suicide prevention right. month to zinc pills. We well, cover everything well, on. I here. mean, and you know, we're a learning podcast. <laughs> yes. It's, you know, there's it's always like, going to be something you can learn. We're the PBS of podcasts. Yes, we are. Hell yes. Uh, pretty, whatever. <laughs> pretty butt show. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> We are the channel 13. <laughs> oh, man. Lucky 13. Yes. Oh, man. Speaking of uh, lucky 13. Speaking of things up your ass. Ooh, the kazoo. <laughs> I like, I mean, it would vibrate probably pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Think about that. The comb. Yeah. Yep. Comb hair. I mean. Like that, that sweet little. Yeah, a little vibration on your little butt hairs. Yeah, it probably feel pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> now, the more we think about it, yeah. yeah. But it's the Lone Star Salute. Right. Uh, Where we sometimes talk about buttholes, yeah. but mostly we talk about <laughs> one star reviews of. Is the butthole a one star? Ooh. Ooh. It's the starfish. Yeah, it is. Oh my God, it is the one star. <laughs> yes, it is the oh one star. Oh my God. Wow. It's our favorite one star. Bring it around town. Yeah, <laughs> we we bring it right back. So, but these but, are uh, one star reviews of music, musicians, yeah. concerts, anything to do with music. Yeah. People have had an opinion about something, and sometimes we find some really good ones that uh, give us a little insight onto what they didn't care for right most of the time it's because it makes us laugh yeah because oh, they're yeah. funny yeah. and uh that's the only way it gets past the gate 
we've got to laugh. Yep, we got to laugh. So we're going to yeah. read a couple for you. Yeah, yeah. What do you have? I have, I got a good twist on this one. Okay. Uh, this is a review from an Airbnb owner. Okay. <laughs> and the review is titled for a for an obnoxious John Bon Jovi fan. Okay. Yeah. So see, Just tying it back in. There you go. You're okay. thinking Airbnb. What the hell is that about music? Let's do it. We got you. In my seven years of hosting thousands of guests from hundreds of countries, XX, she doesn't give his name. Oh. Takes the honor of being the number one absolute worst ever. He came back from a Bon Jovi concert being loud, drunk, bashing things around, and even singing Wanted Dead or Alive at Midnight. That sounds fun. <laughs> I could hear this from my room downstairs and my other guests complained about it. This might sound quite funny, but when I went to ask him politely through the door to be quiet, he screamed back at me, Go away and go to bed. I do not need some narrative through the door. Go away. So pretty scary, as you can imagine. I didn't sleep all night at all, worrying about what he was going to do. I did feel sorry for his partner, who seemed quiet throughout. I can forgive a lot of things. I can, at a push, even forgive bad taste in music. But I cannot forgive rude, obnoxious, and threatening behavior. XX does not belong on the home share platform. He belongs in a home. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, first of all, it <clears throat> sounds like he was partying and having fun. He wouldn't scare me. No. You let him, like, he's drunk, probably, he's having a party. He's being loud. He's going to go night night. You hope. Don't I fuck know. with him. Yeah. And why is she afraid of a guy singing dead or alive? Oh, maybe it's a threat. Oh, uh, there you go. A little innuendo in there. Okay. But so I'm sure she gave him a bad review. So, but she gives John Bon Jovi a bad review too. Oh yeah. She didn't like him. So, and I guess it's just when you wrap all that stuff into one package, a drunk guy getting home from a concert singing, Bon Jovi music. That would kind of scare me. I'm trying to think what song I sing when I get home drunk from a concert. <laughs> it's not that. Oh, but I've no. never been to a Bon, jo a bon Jovi <laughs> uh, concert. So. No, I haven't either. I'm <clears throat> glad. Uh, so I have a funny don't one. Don't you sing We Are the World? <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? No one can argue with that. No. <laughs> one dead or alive seems threatening. We are the world. It seems oh. like a hug. Exactly. A really a drunk, nice, uh, drunk, obnoxious hug. hug. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what are you talking about today? Um, I have a review of Bon Jovi Forever by Mira Parasol. And mm. it's translated from Eng uh, to English from German. Oh. So. I'm reading this because the translation is hilarious. Wow. Because some of angry these, German. So, yeah. yeah imagine <laughs> I know. That. Wow. Even their language sounds angry and they could be saying something real right. nice. And Miro uh, entitles this review, Not Bon. So, Ooh. not good. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so, uh, this person, Miro, male or female, I don't know, goes on to say, it was called the best album in 20 years. No way. It sounds like 2020. You can practically <laughs> listen to John Bon Jovi die. Nobody <laughs> killing but dying of soul. What a crap. I hope for Bon Jovi that he dies slowly only on album, not in real life. But sometimes the darkness cannot hide amongst the flowers and other organs. <laughs> Wait, it just ended? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't understand German people sometimes. No. Hopefully that you translated into German that. accent. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> oh, that was not... what a crap. <laughs> what a crap. Um, wow. I hope for John John Bon Jovi that he dies slowly, not only on album. Uh, I know, I love the only on album, diplomacy. not in real life. Yeah, yeah, I love the diploma. Die on your album, see, not I, in life. I guess Germans don't like 
the long flowing hair. No, but yeah. I do want that on my shirt. Yeah. Die on album, not in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a t-shirt. That would be great. Yeah, I wish that upon people sometimes. I'm telling you, we're going to come out with a Jackalope like shirt people that we says that like, on the yeah, back. People we don't like yeah. show up at their show. Yeah. In the front row. <laughs> Die on album, not on not in real life. <laughs> Uh, 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 anyway, the next Morrissey show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. He's coming to town. Did you see that? No. Because I thought about getting one of those shirts that those kids in Seattle made. Oh, my made. God. And we need our duck calls. I know. Oh, oh my God. My, oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. Anyway, that's what Miro had to say. I don't uh, understand where he's going. He doesn't like that album, obviously. Yeah. It was very 2020. It's whatever about <laughs> the flowers and other organs. I don't understand. But I love a international perspective. It's it's kind of like trying a different food. It's right. like, what do they think about Bon Jovi in Germany? Now we know. Tastes yeah. like cheese fries. <laughs> <laughs> Damn American. Yeah. Oh. Wow. oh man. Oh. You know what that is. That's a zinc pill. That's a zinc pill. I have that. That shares zinc pill. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It was her happy ending. Oh, <laughs> oh total happy Oh, ending. yes. Got through another episode. Yeah. Talking about a superhero. Right. So are these jackalope tales? Well. So watch the video for yourself. Yeah. Did, did St. John save the lady? Or was it the assistant? Is it Seta? Yeah. To promote the album? I don't know. But I every know. single news organization ran with John Bon Jovi's a hero. Right. Oh yeah. No, they really did push it. And the uh the share uh butthole extravaganza. Yeah, oh my uh, god. Was, yeah. I was retailed. So the sources yeah. are mostly people in the club. Right. Who right? were drunk. So who knows? I don't know. I mean, you find bits and pieces and like shards of glass. In your <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like shards of glass in the ass. So are the days of our lives. Uh, and you just, yeah. I mean, it's, there's some things that back this up, but then. Right. There's a video know. over the bridge. No, no video of the bloody butt. No. Well, and that was back in 88 too. So man. I'm so glad phones we didn't have cell phones. See, back then. I know. So glad. No one wants to see Cher's bloody so, butt. I know. But or, if or, someone has her bloody butt on beta, please post it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know. Or like someone selling the tea bags on eBay. <laughs> oh my God. God, man. Wouldn't that be oh. awesome? That's what would happen now. Oh, yeah. They would sell the tea bags on. I oh yeah, it. they'd be grabbing those tea bags. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The medics would have sold them. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I know oh, they would have. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how much someone would pay for a bloody tea bag that's been <laughs> held in John Bon Jovi's feet. I know. We're gonna have to have it certified though. Maybe we should just start <laughs> selling tea bags. Oh my god, we should have a jackalope preparedness kit oh. with just tea bags and uh some and witch zinc. hazel. Yeah, witch hazel and <laughs> witch uh, hazel and zinc. Yeah. And yeah a like... jackalope emergency kit. Yeah. With zinc pills and whatnot, but they yeah. have and say, please insert anally <laughs> only. Because I mean, if you're going to use a rubber finger, our, <laughs> just like a finger condom, yeah, yeah exactly. some lube. Oh, that's the other thing. She, oh, well, the blood probably lubed it up a bit, right? <laughs> I bet it did. Oh, I good know. lord. Why am I thinking about this even more? Which then, if he did it orally, uh, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I need to get out of this jail as <laughs> quick as possible because it's unsavory. Well, there's nothing worse yeah. than blood lube. So if you're still <laughs> sticking around listening to the blood lube episode, uh, thanks for listening. We appreciate you so much. And please, uh, please follow the show notes and check us out on all the socials. Oh, that is God. if you're still hanging around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, be sure to like this, <laughs> subscribe, rate, leave us reviews, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you get your podcasts. And I'll even type a link underneath this because we are selling merch. Yep. 
shirts. I mean, dog bandanas. Zeke caps. <laughs> Those are coming. They coming do, soon. They do have supplements. Oh, my God. I just we're have to request it. <laughs> we're going to have Zeke capsules. Oh, yeah. We're going to call them bondons. <laughs> <laughs> just take, wait take two yeah um but yeah we'll take a look uh we've got everything i mean we've got uh don't the, let us scare you we've got jacks instead of crocs we've right. got oh you Man, name the crocs it are like 20 bucks you guys can afford a pair of god yeah jackalope crocs i mean don't you want more stuff like this being put out instead of like Support sitting us. on your couch thinking that's a croc <laughs> when you're listening to us you should be wearing some jacks yeah yeah fake crocs yep and anyway. you know where to get your zinc now right you do yep. from us the zinc peddlers i have to put it on the store but yeah it'll be there <laughs> oh uh, man thank you guys so much join us next time as we question is it real or is it a jackalope tail or is that the wind in my hair no it's the lube <laughs> in your butt <laughs> you've been sucking up too many zinc capsules in your butt <laughs> Oh, that burn, I'm telling you. Oh, that's funny because I did see the sun.